Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Tampere in City Skylines 2, where we are going to be working on this area today. We've been kind of putting this off for a little while, and I know I teased it a little bit in the last episode, and so I was like, you know what? It is time. So we are going to be extending out our little canal over here, and we're going to be building an entire industrial waterfront. We're also going to be including some harbor space. I'm not really sure what we're going to do with this space. In my little test build, I actually did like a tourist area, but I felt like it was such a bad placement because of the garbage and the waste management company right there especially i think we're going to expand this out a bit and then i think we are going to actually have to place another garbage facility waste management facility on the other side of the city we're definitely getting big to where services like this it takes a long time to get over there and a long time to get back so we need to get something else over there to really help to just make it a, a lot more efficient and so before we do that let's unlock the unnecess the necessary squares because you do need access to the water out here and so we still have 31 squares so we have quite a bit in the pocket i'm not really sure which direction at this point we're going to expand and maybe you guys have some suggestions maybe you guys want to see something fill in this little middle space we do have a highway project on the docket. It's being deliberated right now. And so we're going to wait and see what the city comes up with. They want to expand out the highway going this way. And so there's definitely a lot that we need to get done. This is going to be kind of a crazy project. It's kind of why I've been putting it off. We need to get rid of this water pump. And so once we get rid of that, let's go ahead and unpause and see. Pretty sure with that new one, we're not going to really have a problem because that new facility is just so extensive. So we're going to go like that and we need to pause. And if anybody remembers how we did this before, it's kind of a little crazy. So we're going to right click and we're actually going on the low end right now. This is on a slope. And so we're really going to have to be careful what we're doing over here because the slope does mess us up quite a bit. And so that height actually looks pretty good. The, the issue that I was having before you can kind of see all this water, we're just a little too low. And so I think what we're going to do is actually raise this up quite a bit and then we'll slope it down in the middle. I think that that would be good. So maybe we'll go. Problem is if we're on this water, we're already going to have a little bit of an issue. So I think what we're going to do, we're going to lower this down and we're going to leave some space for our road that's going to come through here. And our waterfront is actually going to be on this level. We definitely don't need this as big as it is. So we'll narrow this down. And then I don't want this to be as big as it is. We were kind of playing around with whether that geothermal plant would work. And so I had brought this out much farther than I wanted it to be. And so we'll go like this and then we'll turn, go this way. And we'll probably even have like maybe one more out here. Another little offshoot, probably a square like this. I think that would be good. And you do need to unpause whenever you do this because the game needs to kind of figure out that there's no water, especially if you're building on it. So we're going to go to the slope train tool now and let's go ahead. We're just going to go big because I really want it to slope well. So we're going to go like that. We're going to come all the way back here and we're going to slope it all the way in. We're still, we're even affecting some of those roads on the side. What I'm worried about here is more the key. The key ends up looking pretty weird. So we need to unpause, let the game find out that there's no water here. And hopefully we don't get any flooding because a lot of times when I did this, there was just a lot of flooding. And so now we'll just let the game pause and let this kind of flood out. It looks like we actually got a pretty good level. So now you really only need to do that a couple seconds. We're going to pause. And what we're going to do now is kind of a little crazy. We're going to go in here to parallel mode. And I don't remember what distance that was. I want to say maybe six. Is it six? Ooh, maybe seven. Seven seems to be like the golden number for me for some reason. So we're going to go to continuous now and we're going to come out at a 180, but we want to turn this in a direction where we're going to be able to go straight. I actually think this is probably good, but what we're going to do is we're actually going to come over here first and we could chop that up a bit. No, you know what? I really, do. I would rather not. I'd rather not to chop anything up. So we'll go ahead and go just like this. And I want to be at like a 90. We'll go right there. I wanted to use that as like an anchor point for us. And then let's go ahead and begin to turn this in. We can come from the other direction. This is going to give us a little more clarity and voila. And we want to make sure that we're getting that slope on there. Again, that was the big problem that I had before. So we are going to grab this now and we're going to turn it. I want to be kind of at a 90. I want to be just like that. Yeah, fantastic. And so now we're going to get out of parallel mode and we need to kind of decide what we're going to do with this. So we're probably going to have to get rid of this. Let's, we're going to come back and redraw this in. We just need to get this, this key wall through. So we're going to grab this. Let's go out this way and we want to, you know, let's continue at a 90. Why not? 
And then that way, what we can do, we'll actually turn it this way. And then I think we'll curve it. So we'll cut this back just a little bit. That was a little farther than we needed to go, but it's just kind of necessary. So we'll curve it this way. I'm thinking at this intersection that this could probably be good. So if we go out like this and then just dump this in, we're going to turn this into a bridge. And so we really need to kind of be mindful of uh, what we're doing with that. So we want this to come up here. We're on a little bit of a ledge. So what we want to do is create a slope. We're going to right click right there. We're going to come all the way down and I kind of want this to curve a little bit. All right. So then I will grab this and this is going to kind of tricky. So it's best to use anarchy. It just makes it a little bit easier for you. It kind of does suck because anarchy is going to give us a little bit of an issue once we start using it. So we're going to come across. Let's actually try to use it without anarchy. I would prefer to do that. I, I just think that would be smarter. Yeah, so we'll come come like this and we can actually trim it back to it doesn't need to be like right up on there. We're going to trim back to the road. You don't need to build it right on the edge. So we'll go like this and we want it to try to be at a good position because we're going to try to be parallel to this. So we want to be 180. Yeah, that's good right there. And then let's go across now. So we'll grab this, come all the way down. I don't think we need it that thick, but we'll see. All right, so I went ahead and turned it this way and we want to now go straight. But what we need to do is put in our harbor. So we actually need to come into our development points, go to transportation and we need to, let's do water. And you know what, because we're in here, let's unlock tram and subway and air. We got so many points, 28. So we're not gonna worry about the international airport or the space station right now. But I think by unlocking those, what it does is just kind of save some steps for us. We still do have some unlocks in here, like the parking buildings, which those are actually gonna be really beneficial for our downtown. We still have quite a bit of unlocks for our electricity. I think once we reach the next point, we'll probably do our nuclear power plant. We'll definitely come in here and do this. I don't know if we're gonna do it on this episode. We may end up just doing a trash episode on the next one. We still have our city buildings too, which we need to place down. We got quite a bit, but now that we got that, what we can do is go into water and let's go to cargo Harbor. And yeah, this is massive, man. I, I guess I forgot how big this was. So if we come out and it actually looks like we might fit. So we're going to be in water. Let's grab this. This actually might end up working out as a pretty good location, especially if we do one ways, we'll be able to kind of mitigate the traffic a bit. So if we go like that, let's go ahead and check that out. You know what? I think that actually looks okay. I'm, I'm okay with that. So if we now let's come up here and kind of clean this up a bit. We want to be right next to that. And then what we're going to do is go into our new little road tools kind of mod, and we're going to add keys going all the way around. All right. So I went ahead and did our key walls going all the way around. And this is actually the moment of truth. And so what we want to do is grab our slope tool. And let's actually slope this from all the way on the other direction. So what we're going to do, we're going to grab this. We're just going to do one quick pass if we can. All right. And just a few moments later, I was able to dig out all of our coasts. I think this looks pretty good and we can go ahead and speed up that time. Let this water flood in, see what happens. All right. So I think this looks pretty good. There's definitely a few things that we need to do. Um, it looks like we're actually getting a little bit of flooding over here. Is it just too low? Yeah, it looks like it. So let's actually fix this real quick. All right. So what I want to do is actually raise this up a little bit. So we're going to raise up this little section and that's not a lot. It's just a little bit. And what I want to do, I was kind of playing around a little bit with the heights. I think we're going to slope this whole section. I think that that's probably the best way to go about doing this. So we're going to grab this and we're going to just slope this down. And what it's going to allow us to do is then play with the road a little bit better so that it kind of slopes up into that rather than this kind of being like this. And it looks like we actually kind of messed up a little bit. So we want to right click right here, create an elevated space and then right click and actually create a slope. Yeah. So we, there we go. Looks like I was kind of missing it before. And cause we want to do a bridge here too. So we want to be able to get this right if we can. So let's go like that. And then now let's grab our road and I'm going to redraw this in real quick. And then what we need to do. So I like that again, we got that swoop. We need to finish this road right now. So we're going to grab this. Let's go ahead and go. We need to go to continuous. Well, let's go straight until we get to this crossing. Yeah, we'll go like this. Let's go 180. And then now let's begin to go straight, but we're going to kind of curve it a bit and we need to go to our four lane tiered arch bridge. Yeah, we need to, we need to go up. So let's do this. And then now we are going to go up and we want to kind of come across. Yeah, there we go. So we created that nice connection there. Now we know where the road is, which is important. 
I like that we got this little bridge section over here. We could even upgrade this to a bridge section. Let's kind of, let's just see how it looks. So it looks like I'll just have to draw it in. And look, that's probably the easiest way to go about it. If we go like that. Yeah, you know what? That actually looks pretty good. I like the overall peel and it actually adds to our city quite a bit. But now that we have that, we can come over here and finish off these roads. So I wonder now if we can, ooh, we can, perfect. Let's actually, so we're gonna trim that back and we're just gonna redraw that in from back here. And there we go, perfect. So now we have actually created a little bit better of a connection for this as well. And so let's actually trim this back and give this a new try. So we'll come in here. We wanna go, let's go, yeah, 180 and then we'll be begin to turn it in right here. Yeah, I think that's good. That looks good. And then let's go ahead and put key walls on this. And hopefully this works out a little bit better because the, the flooding is definitely something that you wouldn't want. Flooding is not good. So we'll go like that. And then let's go ahead and trim this back now. And we'll be able to kind of see what we're working with. I think this is going to work out though. Yeah, that's already much higher. We definitely do get a little close over here. Like maybe we should turn this into a key wall as well, just because of that corner. Cause then we, maybe we'll do two and then we'll just keep it like that. We do need to connect up our rail line now. So we got our whole road connectivity. We need to worry about that a little bit later. Let's come back through here now and it's gonna be a double-sided rail. And voila, just a few moments later, I connected it up. We just wanna make sure we have enough clearance on those roads, which I do, it looks good. We now need to come over here. And I think what we're gonna do, I was looking at this and what I'm worried about is the entrance. So what trucks are gonna have to do is turn and come in here, it looks like the middle side. I think they can turn and yeah, access these other sides too, which can really help out quite a bit. So I think what we're gonna do is move this over. It can help out quite a bit if you allow those multiple entry points. So if we go like this, and then what I'm thinking, we're going to move this over. We may need to play around with the, the ground a little bit. So if we go, I'm thinking I wanna go like right there. I know it's kind of far in, but honestly, it's gonna leave enough room for us to get our road pass, which is fantastic. So if we grab this, Let's follow this up now. We're gonna go to two continuous. Let's go to 180 and then have this just curve up. Yeah, I think this is fantastic. Cause then what we can do is just connect this up. Yeah, might as well just go 180. It's not the cleanest connection, but I think it'll work out for our purposes. So we're gonna come out this way now and we want to come in here and actually play with the land a little bit. That is not what we wanna do. So we wanna bring this out. So basically I'm just gonna turn the road and have it come over here so that we can turn it into a key wall. We'll turn this into like an industrial space while we're waiting for that to kind of flood. We can come in here. Let's go to water. Let's do the biggest waterway we can. It looks like that's maybe a little too big. So if we go like this and then let's go ahead and connect that up just to create a little circle. So cargo ship route tool. We want to do both. So we'll come up here. Pathfinding fail. What do you mean pathfinding fail? I don't know why it's giving pathfinding errors. I wonder if it's because I did the two sides. Let's, let's go like that and see if that helps it out. That might, because I feel like maybe the loop just isn't, isn't the best way to go about it. I don't know why that's not reading. So we'll maybe give that a second to adjust. Yeah, there you go. So just a second later, I'm able to do it, which is good. It's still giving me pathfinding errors for this one, which kind of sucks, but maybe it's the ground. I don't think so. The, the lanes are where it matters. So the ground, I don't think would really matter over here. So yeah, it looks like just that right side is giving us issues. So I'm just gonna go ahead and have them both go into the same one, which kind of sucks, but I don't think it's the end of the world. I really don't. And so now that we have that, let's, are we still getting flooding over here? How close are we to that sea level? And we're pretty low over here. We should probably go up a little bit higher. All right, and so just a few moments later, we are finished and you can see I raised it up quite a bit. Basically what I did, I had to pretty much delete everything. I kept this little road though, so I could use it as a marker. And then I just went back here and raised it up from our sloped area. And it seems to work out pretty well. We're not really having any of the issues that we were having before with the flooding and stuff. We do need to come back here and kind of just clean up the key wall a bit. The road is kind of, the dirt is kind of pushed underneath that a little bit. So I think now what we're gonna do, we're gonna come back this way. And then I want to go in again, right there. Let's come across and then we will come out. I wanna go out just a little bit further than we were before. And then now what we're gonna do, we're actually going to go up. We need to cross the freeway. So we're gonna go like this. And what we could do is have this just cut across and turn into a huge curve, which would actually be beneficial in a lot of different respects. So if we bring this across, I think we can get it right there. And then let's go straight. So that's at a 90, which is actually pretty good. And then what it does is it just allows us to branch off from that big road and then come this way. Let's go into continuous and let's actually bring this down. We could even do another little inlet. I think that could probably be good. 
We don't want to do too much of these because we do want to get a harbor over here too. And I was kind of thinking maybe a little bit farther, but maybe even this space right here could be good. So let's let's check out our harbor, see how big it is, and then try to see if we can you know squeeze it in like we did on the other side. So if we go like that, let's bring this into 90 and then come back. Let's see if this is going to be far enough away. Okay, so no water. So if we bring the water in just a little bit, we should be able to squeeze this in here because I really want to get that flush look like I did on the other side. So it says no water again. Come on, the water's like right there. Just fix it. All right, so water, perfect. Place it right there. Let's check that out. Yeah, so you know what, that looks good. It's a little bit farther away than, than the other one was, which kind of sucks, but you know what, it, it's not the end of the world. Let's do the same thing on this side. We got a little bit of, oh, it's the circle. And then I think we can turn this into a key wall. Yeah, so it's already a key wall. We could actually just tuck this in now. Yeah, there you go. Perfect. It kind of messes up a little bit, you can tell, but I mean, it looks okay. I kind of wish this was a little more flush, but it's not the end of the world. This should be getting everything. So it says not enough electricity, not enough water. Let's check this out. So this is just not, I'm guessing it's because the big road's not connected yet. So if we grab this, we want to connect this up. So if we grow into continuous, curve this in, let's go ahead and curve in the other side too. Yeah, there we go. That creates a nice little entrance. And then we can come over here. Let's turn off Anarchy. Go like that. Fantastic. So now we've created a little bit of connectivity. Let's do this now. So we want to come out here, come in there. It's just a, it's its own lane, which I think is good. So passenger ship terminal, and we want to try to get both of them. So we want to go like that. And then let's go ahead and hit it again. And this is already looking pretty good. I don't know how I feel about this little entrance right here. I think that this may look a little weird. We may fix that. We could also take advantage of some of these little ways that don't have to cross over. So I think it would be kind of smart for us to bring this across. We could even just do like a rail crossing. I don't think that would be the end of the world to have that like that because we ideally just want to connect it up to this other road. So if we grab this, let's go down to ground level. So we want this to connect up to that road. Let's go down. We want to be at zero feet. Yeah, if we go like that, yeah, I think that looks pretty good. We're a little bit elevated over here, but honestly, I'm not worried about it. We're going to end up turning this into our university area. We just wanted to create some connectivity with this. It's actually kind of cool. So we made this a little bit too high right there. So if we go like that, we should be able to now come out this side. Let's maybe do this road across. We need to level some space out. So if we go like this, let's bring this down. We're kind of getting a little sidetracked right here, but it kind of plays into the whole area. And that wasn't perfect, but honestly, it was close enough. 179. We should be able to bring this back now. And then let's go ahead and curve this in. And I'm thinking we're going to slope it. Let's bring this down. We'll right click right there. Slope this in. Yeah, I think this is going to be good. We're just trying to leave a little bit of room for some for some zoning off of this too. That's kind of why I'm being careful with this because we do want to still keep some zoning in this space. I think this looks good. I like the little curviness of it. We connected it up, which is fantastic. We'll probably have this maybe follow along or cut into this area at some point. Again, I don't think this looks good. I think this looks weird. So if we go like this, let's maybe get rid of this little inlet and then we can kind of curve this in. That could be good. So if we go like this, yeah, there we go. Just the slightest curve. And that way, I think that just looks a little bit better because then we can bring this in, which I think is good. Yeah, that looks fantastic. Let's go ahead and turn these into key walls. Go like that, fantastic. And then we can bring this back. Man, we're really getting a lot done on this episode. We're we're going crazy. Okay, so we have some basic connectivity. We got our cargo terminal working. We definitely need to work on some more of our road layout. I think we're gonna go ahead and call the expansion quits right there. I don't really know what we're gonna do with this space just yet. And so I think just having what we have is probably good. Because of anarchy, we created a little bit of an issue for ourselves, which really sucks, but just kind of how you, what you have to deal with. I think this looks good. We definitely need to have this road come down. This would be kind of weird right there. We want to connect that up, fantastic. So we got some good connectivity. We need this road to probably continue on. Remember, we're gonna do industrial in here, so we would want Kind of a grid pattern, but we still want it to look good. We don't want to just kind of throw it in there. So we'll go like that. And then we will, I could connect this up. I'm afraid that it's going to become a connection. I'm afraid that it's going to become a route. So right now our route is coming in here and dumping out there. We could even turn this into a one way if we wanted to and go like three lanes or something. Like say if we went this way and then brought this back, it would just make it so that everybody has to kind of funnel into one space, which I think could be really good. So if we go like that and let's bring this across, go like that. 
Fantastic. Let's go ahead and do a road that's going to cut in. Nice. I like that. And then let's fill this in with industrial. We're going to fill this in with industrial. Let's go ahead and do some industrial office space back here. I think that this could be good. And then let's do just a small bit of commercial. Put that right there. I wish that the zoning was a little bit better. It's a little frustrating. We need to fix our land a little bit and then we will bring this back. And I'm just gonna finish the road layout for this area real quick. Pretty easy, most of it's already done. I'm probably just gonna fill in this little space, these little spaces. Okay, so I am done with the road layout, at least as far as we're gonna take it right now. And it's kind of funny, I upgraded our buildings. I completely forgot about upgrades. So I added our transit terminal, which was fantastic. I was actually sitting here wondering like, all right, we need to get a transit terminal down here or something like that. So that really helps out quite a bit. I went ahead and did a line from this transit terminal to our transit terminal downtown. We'll have to keep an eye on that and see if it gets really busy or not. I don't suspect it'll get extremely busy, but we'll see. I mean, there's, you know, one passenger on this one, which is kind of crazy. That's a ship. So yeah, there's only one, one passenger on the ship. While upgrading this one, I went ahead and did the railway connection, which is super important. And we got the extra cargo cranes. So that actually, I think it provides another... No, I think it just does faster unloading and loading. So if we go in there and kind of check that out, what, what was that? So additional cranes help to increase the speed at which loading and unloading takes place. But we're kind of in a little bit of a problem. I yeah didn't think about the rail line. So we're actually going to have to pause and kind of figure this out because this is this is a problem. I think we may even redo a lot of this rail. So if we go ahead and trim this back, let's say to right there, I wonder, so we'll have to get rid of this. We'll be able to go from right there. So let's see it, how big the slope is on this. So if we go, let's go ahead and right click on the bottom right there. And then we will come all the way up here. You know, it's actually not that bad. So we're at about where it should be, you know, it's expected to be, which is good for a slope. So yeah, if we go like that, perfect. And so now what I'm going to do, I want to do a sunken line. And the reason I want to do it is because it's going to allow us a little bit more space, which I think is going to be fantastic. So if we go like this, let's go 180. Now we're going to come out this direction and then we will begin to kind of curve this around. All right. And just a few moments later, I got it in and that's going to really help us to get some of these other connections across. Like this is a pretty good connection right here. So if we were to grab this, and bring this across now. So we wanna come off at a 90 if it will allow me. We wanna go like that. And then let's try to figure out a better way. So if we get rid of this, I'm thinking we can bring this up and we wanna be at a 180 and then turn this in. Fantastic, look at that. So we have now created connectivity over here, which is just fantastic. And honestly, we'll probably end up having to upgrade this to a bigger road. I could see this being a thing so we'll, we'll go ahead and go like that. And I think we'll leave that for what it is right now. It is a little bit wide because four lanes going into a three lane one way. But I feel like this has potential to be a pretty big connection for us. It also allows us to bridge some of these smaller connections where we would have been disconnected before. Now we can kind of bridge it across. We do want to be careful because this is still an industrial area over here. So we don't want to just go crazy and start a you know, put a bunch of stuff down. So we want to redraw this in. Then we can bring our one connection over here, bridge that back. Let's go ahead and redraw in our big road. Or right, let's go ahead and connect up this rail line over here. And this should actually be easy now. So we're going to grab this. And what we're going to do is we're going to go down. Yeah, we're going to go, well, we want to be at a 180. We're going to go just like that. And then basically all we're just going to, we're just going to bring this back here and connect it up. So we'll go like that. Fantastic. And so now that hopefully provides us enough room to be able to connect this up, it should, but you never know. Yeah. If we go like that, fantastic. And we might even be able to grab our small road, have this come back. I don't think so though. I don't think so. No, it's going to be just a little too tight. That's okay. We'll go ahead and leave this empty. I don't even think we can connect this up because it's going to be a bridge piece. Yeah. So this is going to be just a little too tough for us. We probably could, yeah, it looks like we can have it bridged that way. I don't know, I don't really know if we want that connection though. I don't know if that's gonna be good for us. So if we go ahead and just do a small connection right here. Yeah, there we go. I think that that's gonna provide enough connectivity for this area, which is good. It actually opened up a lot. So we really, we did, that was actually really smart of us to do. We got our rail line in, let's go ahead and do our cargo connection. 
So we'll grab this. We're going to have it come all the way out here. And then we will have this connect up. And then let's go ahead and have this connect up to the one across town as well. I think that this would be smart because these are just so far. It's going to really help to kind of minimize those trucks going all the way over there. I think that that's going to be good. Do we have, what do we have over here? No pedestrian access. So if we just delete that, that should fix it. And I think our city is actually looking pretty good. This new area is actually kind of crazy. I'm glad we got this in there. I think this looks really good. So I'm just going to go ahead and start plopping down some zoning and stuff, get this filled in. All right, so just a few moments later, I finished the zoning and I actually did mostly office around here because this is going to be a tourist area. I did some commercial in there. I do still have some small bits of, of industrial. We wanted to get rid of that. Let's go ahead and do office in here. Let's do a small little commercial area for this spot. And then I think for this area, we'll probably do commercial. I think that that's probably our best bet. And then over here, I think we're going to do low density housing, kind of follow that trend. So if we go just like that, so we'll come in here now. Let's actually do some higher density uses because we're going to come through here and change a lot of this already. And so let's go ahead and let this build out and just kind of check it out. All right, so just a few moments later, all the buildings are in, and this looks pretty good. I definitely wish we could get rid of some of these little spaces in here. I think we'll come through and fill in a lot of these in our detailing time lapse. I think what we're gonna do over here is just some more industrial and then some office space. It's really prime real estate, so I kind of wish that we could do something a little bit better, but honestly, I think it's gonna be a good little spot for this. We could also do another road and create some more zoning in here. So if we go like this and then bring this road down, and then bring this down. What it's going to do is just provide us a little bit more zoning off that back end, which can really go a long ways because we could actually let's do let's do big industrial right there. I think that that's going to be a good, good little spot for us. And then we can do some office space right there. I think that this would be good. Maybe some small commercial right there. We'll leave that empty for right now. Let's do um, commercial wrapping this way. We're getting back over to the regular part of town. So that we have that, let's go ahead and try to fix this up. <laughs> this is pretty bad. I didn't even, I guess we didn't even look over here. We um, messed up quite a bit of the land when we did that. Okay, so we're, we're definitely gonna have to fix this. This is not good. So maybe we'll go like this and then we'll soften it up. Yeah, I think that this is probably gonna be better. Go like this. Let's go ahead and bring the land close to the edge and then let's soften this up. Yeah, there we go. That's looking a lot better. And then that way we can connect up our road here, which would be fantastic. That would be just awesome. Oh yeah, look at that. We're going to do our city hall and stuff like that over here. I think that that would be a good little spot for it. Would like to get some connections. I think it would be good for us to get like one connection over here. I wonder if we could squeeze in just like this road across. I wonder if this will work. So it looks like it'll work on this side. Let's see if we can just clean up this edge, maybe soften this up a bit. Not much, but just, just a little bit. Let's see now if we can bridge that across because that would actually be really good. So it looks like we needed to turn it just a little bit, which is okay. I wish we didn't have to. That doesn't look the greatest, but it wasn't going to allow us to go straight. I might play around with this a little bit just to see if I can get it straight. All right, so I was able to get this road to work by turning it. So I actually had it go 180 this way, then at a 90, and then I cut it in this way. I did have to get rid of our bus or our po a post office right here because it was kind of blocking the way. And so I did have to, to kind of play around with that a bit. Let's go ahead and fix this. I don't think having a big kind of pool in the backyard would be good. Okay, and so just a few moments later, I finished. I did end up having to delete the whole thing. I ended up having to delete both sides, but I did change up the zoning a bit on this side. And I think this looks a little bit better. I actually really like this. I think that these taller buildings are kind of good additions for this area. And we were able to get this road to have regular zoning on it. So this actually worked out for the best overall because I was having issues with this before where it was actually turning into like a bridge piece. So I'm going to go ahead and do some zoning in here. We're probably going to do mostly, actually, you know, we could do commercial. I think commercial would be good. We'll do some low density on these little small lots. I think th this is a good little addition. We could even do 
some high density commercial in there too. I think that that could be good. All right. And so going back to our main project, we are looking pretty good. I actually really like this. I kind of wish that we could fill in some of these voids in here. I may add some roads or something to kind of mitigate that empty space. We're going to keep this empty for now. We're going to do our city, like city hall and stuff like that. I think we could definitely fill in some more of these little spaces since we were over here. I think that that would be like a good use of this space. I want to get some taller buildings, but I also want to think about like proximity in downtown. Like I think this, this would probably be a good little spot. So we'll do some high density commercial right there. Let's get some high density commercial right there. And then let's go ahead and get some, some high density residential. And then let's do another high density office. And then we'll come down here, do some more high density commercial. Let's do a couple little low densities. We're definitely going to have to start filling in some more of this open space over here. I think we're going to connect up this road. I'm kind of looking at this like, man, this would be a good connection. So if we went like that, I'm sure we didn't connect that because we were having issues before. Let's come in here now. Let's do a row of high density right there. I think that would be good. Actually, let's do some office right there. And we'll go like this, put a little low density right there. It's going to take a little bit for a lot of these to fill in. I'm not too concerned with it, but it is something that you do have to uh, kind of pay attention to. Let's do some low rent housing, low rent. Let's go over here, turn these into apartments. And we want to come in here and actually get rid of this little middle path. We don't need that anymore. It is a nice feature for the neighborhoods. We're still going to keep the crossings, but we want to get rid of these paths because it's going to allow the buildings to actually grow a little bit larger, which is good. So if we come down here now, get rid of the zoning, you'll see we just got a lot more to deal with. We need to delete these poor houses. And then we can come in here and yeah, rezone that. You see that? Oh yeah, now we're gonna get full zoning right there. We do wanna come in here and make sure that we're not messing up our paths. You can see all the people walking around. It's because of everything that just got destroyed. They're like, I don't know what happened. Everything just disappeared. And we'll just let these kind of figure themselves out. We'll probably delete that whole row delete that whole row and there we go we're getting full zoning in here which is fantastic helps to really clean up the neighborhoods a lot i think our downtown's definitely coming together and we're slowly developing it especially now we got this this whole uh, industrial area i think this looks really good i like this a lot i think we did a great job i'm gonna go ahead and jump into a detailing time lapse i hope you guys enjoy and i will see you on the other side All right, so after quite a while, I am finally finished and I feel pretty good about it. I, I definitely still feel kind of weird about having a lot of this green in here with the industrial, but I think overall it looks really good, especially as we zoom out. We can kind of imagine as our downtown fully develops, 
we'll have a lot of these taller buildings in here and it's really just going to look i think pretty cool especially i like the, some of the curves that we have going on in here especially our little canal that kind of seeps through the downtown i think this is going to look really cool and so go ahead and let me know what you think we actually did a lot so we um we got this oil you know or this gas power plant over here we expanded our little downtown a little bit because we did the water we ended up having to terraform quite a bit of this we did a lot of connections which is really good this is, looks kind of a little steep maybe we can come back through here and kind of clean these up maybe i'll do that in between episodes i did clean up a little bit of these there are still some awkward spaces in here that maybe i need to come through and do some trees or something kind of figure that out and then we'll definitely once once we expand that it's going to look a little bit better but I think this looks really cool. Go ahead and let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this episode, you will definitely enjoy the episode on your screen. And thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you guys on the next one.